when the film was finished, I went to the MPAA, and they had two women on the board who, from the time I walked in, this one woman was almost shaking. It's like she wanted to climb over the desk and strangle me, okay? But she was containing herself. And you know how when you're going into somebody and you see that they're containing themselves, you know the attack is about to come. And I had been through them with a, a lot of very tough films, you know. Uh, and they said, Mr. Simmer, first one said, not the one who was attacking, the other one said, first, Mr. Simmer, whatever gave you the idea that you could do a film like this, that you could put this subject on the film. I said, well, I said, there it is, it's a reality. Now keep in mind, this was a time in America where, you know, that, that it, there was a purity that was still holdover, okay? I mean, you know, nobody knew the truth about what the situation, nobody ever dealt with it. The so one lady said, with this subject, never belong in movies. Don't you understand? Movies are entertainment. How could you be entertained by this film? She said, well, we're giving this film an X, X, X. And I said, yes, but I'm demanding and I will appeal on one and R. And she said, well, if you cut this scene of the blood flying up, just one scene, she had a bunch of ridiculous stuff. And I said, of course, I'll do that. So I went out. I made a couple of very light cuts. Sent it back to them. They said, okay, we're going to give you the R. Which shocked me. And of course, I never put those cuts in the film. Just the way we shot the film, that's the way it went out. I never told my children I shot this movie. Did I tell you this? I, I shot the film... I never told the children, my anybody that I did, I didn't tell my friends, I didn't tell them, whoever was around me. And 